First question on Instagram is from Unit Twenty Nine Fitness. He must be from like he must be from England or the you know somewhere in the UK or he's definitely from Australia. But because he said bit, so he said, if you could only have the money for one bit of kit, what would you pick? Yeah, this is like a rhyme. But what would you pick from a belt squat or a reverse hyper? Mm, one bit of kit, bro. That's it. That's it. So, I mean, but what I will say, and we talked about this because this is a hard one for me. Mm. You know this. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a big advocate of reverse hyper. I'm a very big advocate of the, you know, the belt squat. Um, from a universal universal perspective, you know, from all the way from you know middle school kids up into you know, let's say fifties or sixties, you know, I think that what will give you the most, the biggest bang for your buck would be the belt squat because you can load it efficiently. You don't need a whole lot. You don't need any spotters. Um, it does serve as hip traction. And then you can also use it anywhere in a way, whereas as opposed to the reverse hyper, you know, a lot of people don't know how to use it. And it's easier to understand a belt squat than it is a reverse hyper in a lot of ways. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't learn how to use a reverse hyper, but if you had to choose one to start with, I would go with the belt squat for sure. Okay. <clears throat> and I mean, obvious, obviously, every individual has different needs, has different physiology, has different biomechanics, I, everything. We can say this with every question. Yeah. We can say this with every question, Matt. Yeah. Like, yeah, it depends, it depends, it depends. But I'm gonna give you exactly what you asked me for. So Unit 29 Fitness asked me because I'm, you know, from a money perspective, mm -hmm. what would I choose? I'm gonna choose something that I know w that can work with every single body that walks in the gym. Got it. Yeah, it's good. And look, I, I have to I have to agree to an extent with the belt squat because what happens when you shift the load down the spine, you really take uh, you take that anterior shear for, force off those lumbar vertebrae, right? So a belt squat is fantastic for anyone with any kind of lower uh, lower back pathology. Um, so the, that alone, I think, just from a safety standpoint, uh, you're going to get a lot of bang for buck out of that piece of kit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and there's and there's several different ways that you could utilize the belt squat, right? You can you can hip hinge with it, right? You can squat with it, you can march in it, you can do conditioning with it, you can max effort, you can do dynamic effort. Yeah. There's a lot of different things you can do with the belt squat, as opposed to the reverse hyper where you are getting traction. And I hate to say this because it sounds like I'm kind of talking down about the reverse hyper because I'm not, but you know, with the belt squat, there's other methodologies or I should say other, yeah, other methodologies, other tempos, training modalities that you could utilize with that particular uh, set of equipment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I would say that, you know. Um, yeah, so, so in a sense, the, uh, the reverse hyper is more of a one dimensional piece of equipment. It's more of a one dimensional movement. Serves, serves several purposes, but um, you're gonna get more variety of exercise and outcome out of the belt squat. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you'll get, obviously you can get strengthening and traction. So from a recovery standpoint, you know, a restoration standpoint, the reverse hyper bar none is one of the best tools and, and, and set of equipment that you can have inside your gym. But again, if we're talking about one or the other, if I don't have enough money for one or the other, I'm going to go ahead and pick the belt squat. Belt first. squat. 